guys welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to or how I organize my vinyl scrap so I don't know if you guys remember in my craft room tour video I have a drawer that says vinyl scraps well I'm going I took everything out of there um, remember I told you guys I was gonna organize it so I finally have time to get that done and I'm going to be using file folders. So I did find this on Amazon. I thought this was super cute. It's like a rose gold. And it also, um, they also sell the little cup holders. So I went ahead and I bought both. <laughs> I thought they were just super cute. I'll link these in the description for you guys. So I did buy this one. And this one, what I like about it is that it has little hooks. Like little things so you can hang it on the wall if you want to. Or you can just place it somewhere nearby um, your Cricut machine so or have it you know just easy to access it and you know grab whatever scraps you need so I thought this was pretty neat I also bought a um, a new uh, Alex drawer I bought the small one but the one that comes with the file folder so let me show you guys what I'm talking about so this is the new one right here that I bought from Ikea and as you can see it has three regular drawers and it has the the bottom file one so this is the one that I'm also going to use for other scraps that I need to store or anything if you know if I need some extra room so this will be very very handy if you want to keep it out of the way and out of you know plain sight and just hide it so that would be your, your other choice if you wanted to um, on top of it, I, it it's pretty long so I put my um, sublimation print on this one I used to have the Michaels one I don't know if you guys that's also in my craft room tour so I ended up getting rid of the Michaels one and putting this one in. I did lose some drawers but I also am going to gain some because I also bought another Alex uh, drawers, the big tall one with, um, I think it comes with like, it comes with nine drawers. So I also bought that one to give me more storage to, you know, store other little things. So once you open it, as you can see, you got a lot of space. So this is what I'll be using and I did buy these off of Amazon also. So these are just, I bought these as extras. And they're just regular file folders and of course they have the bottom that you can fold and I'll link these also down in the description for you guys all right so getting back to these so like I said this is the one I'm going to use um, for my for some and then also I'm going to be using the file cabinet so for these and these are the little labels I have a label maker here because I'm going to print out some labels so I know which ones you know what's what which file is what so I've already cut one down and this is how it looks. So there's how it looks. So I, I have my list of what I need to make labels of. So I did find them on, on Amazon and I will put link them down below, but they have different ones. So they have the uh, matte white. So it would be black ink with matte um, sticker. This is also, this is a ribbon. I was going to use this and then I didn't realize it was a ribbon, but it's actually a ribbon. It prints it on a ribbon. I don't have, I don't know, I, I did a little sample. I printed something earlier and I don't know what I did with it, but it's really cute. This would be so neat for like little treat bags or something to, to personalize it and put um, a name on it. These are super cute. They have them in pink, they have blue, but they're super cute and it's gold print, gold ink. I don't know what I did. If I find it, I will show you guys. I don't know what I did with it, um, but they look so cute. So th this I'm not gonna use. I'll put that off to the side, but they have that one. And then I bought this one also on um, Amazon and I'll link it always and I'll link it in the description of course but these have three and these are actually washi tape so they come in three little options for you guys I'm going to be using the pink one with the white polka dots I thought that was cute and this one is kind of like a a blush with hearts I guess and it print it prints with on gold yeah so it's on pink this is pink but it's like a super light pink pink with gold I don't know if you guys can see that and it has little hearts and then the bottom one is rose with white background so these are super cute and they have another one too but I didn't buy that one they're about 20 20 something dollars or 27 I think I saw it at Michaels but Amazon has it for 21 so I'll link that also so you have those options and then I did find this one at Walmart this one was cute I was going to use this one before I bought this one before I saw these you know the ones with the three options <laughs> I just I had to go with these these are super cute but this is cute too so again this is washi tape and this is regular like uh, label tape 
so you have they have so many options out there you guys so whatever fits your your room theme or style you can always go with that all right so let's get started here I'm gonna show you guys what um, but I've already separated all my vinyl I did that before doing the video because I wanted to I didn't want to make this video super long these these are also other options that if you wanted to use but these are too big to fit in here so I won't I won't link this I mean you could just put plastic envelopes in the Amazon um, search thing um, I'll link I don't know these are not available because I was gonna order more these are no longer available but I'll link some close to it for you guys and these of course you can always use them and put them inside the file folders these are I think five by six so those are another option so I ended up buying these and these are not envelopes these are more like uh, plastic like presentation things I guess you can say for your paper just to make sure you protect it so that's what this is so that's what these are that I'm using here so I bought these and I already separated everything so I have everything separated as in so right here would be infusible ink these I don't know what to name it I guess extras I don't know extra extra I don't know something uh, so so these are just gonna be extra I don't know and then this one of course is black HTV and then we have um, HTV I did I'm gonna cut these down because I mean they're just scrap anyways so uh, if I need a bigger sheet I'll get a bigger sheet this is black um, vinyl and here we have a lonely one. Oh, this is flock so this is a uh, white flock and then we have foil HTV and then we have foil vinyl so I only have a few labels to make so that's what I'm gonna do with you guys and then this one of course it's gonna be um, pattern HTV and we have transfer tape which I have a whole bunch of and then the last one this is white vinyl so I have a whole bunch of this oh and I have this is puff HTV so I have this one too that I'm gonna make so we're gonna make these labels real quick and then I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna place them on here and these barely fit so like the long ones I left them long because if I'm gonna use them in the file cabinet it's gonna work fine you can uh, you know there's space for it to hang out to the side but if not you know you can always put these here so I'm gonna cut some of these down just to make sure they fit on there and also these are the file folders that I bought these I got them off of Amazon these are super cute so you have the pink ones it comes with pink design white design and then a gray design so I thought these were super cute so I went ahead and I ordered these and then they'll just go right in there there we go see and look how cute that is. so that would be um, pretty much how it would look let me show you guys okay so this is how it would look once you have it all um, once you kind of have it out and you can just kind of flip through it and find whatever vinyl you're looking for so I thought this was a very cute little idea okay so let's get started on the labels and oh let me show you guys so this is the the plain little thing so this is how it looks the little plastic I'm using to store the vinyl and I like it because it's easy like I can just grab it from anywhere it's it's super easy it's not like you know you have to undo the envelope the plastic envelope or anything like that all right so I like I said I made my list of what I wanted to have so this is what I'm going to be printing out so what I did and I did not take the tape off I just kind of put it in there like that but I was also thinking you can just put it on the top it doesn't have to go inside the little tab so those are just two different options so I didn't want to tape it down I don't want to have such a hard time taking it off I mean it is washi tape so it should come out pretty easily but having it just in there like that it's not it's not bad either okay so I have black HTV 
So I'm going to go ahead and print these. And so I have my little label maker here that I'm going to use. And I bought this off of, I can't remember if it was, I bought this a little while back. I can't remember if it was Amazon or Michael's. One of the two. Actually, I think it might have been Joanne's. I'm not sure, but I'll link the Amazon one because I saw it on Amazon also. But you can look, you know, you can find it anywhere. So I'll put the link on there too. And then um, to load the the little tape, it's super easy. You just put it in there and slide the little, um, the remainder part right here. So it'll look something like this. This was the first one I did. And then you stick your little label through there. And that's it. Pretty easy, then close it back up. And then just turn it on. So I already have it set, I don't know if you guys can see that. But I already have it set to what I want. And it should do the same as the last one that I did. Let's see. Black vinyl. That's my next one that I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and print that. And it'll ask you how many copies. I just push print again. And it'll print it. And you can see it coming out through the side, through the top. And you can cut it. Okay, so it did not save my previous, my previous settings. So it printed it big. This is the medium size. It did the, the big size. So I'm gonna change that. So to change it, let's see. We're gonna go to menu, language file tab here. No, no, no. So to change it, we're gonna go to font. And I believe there it is. Size, click OK. Large, medium, click OK. There we go. Now it's set. So I'm gonna print that one more time. And it's done. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in here and then I'm gonna cut around it. So it printed in medium now. And now I'm just gonna cut. Let me flip it out. So it can go along with the edge of the tab. Just make sure you don't cut your tab. <laughs> There we go. And that's it. And there you go, you have your little tap. So let's do another one. And I'm gonna cross these out so our next one's gonna be infusible ink. So on that one, it might be kinda long. So what I'll probably have to do is print it small. Because I think it might be too long, but let's see. Oops. Okay. So it might, let's see. Hopefully it's not too long. It might be just the right size. Oh, and the file, the file um, folders do come with the little tabs. It came with both of these. I don't know if I mentioned that. Just in case. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, good. So let me cut down this size. And then we'll flip it over and do this side. There we go. And there's our next one. So let me go ahead and cut these out and then we'll put them in there. So I'm gonna speed up the video so you guys won't have to sit through the whole boring thing. <laughs>
so I am actually done doing all of these and I realized that I only have enough for some of them not all of them so I needed two more okay so I'll have to um, so I have to buy more but I am off to so let's see I do have one two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so there is. So I know I have transfer tape. I have the foil, solid color HTV. I do have white HTV. I don't think I have this one. So I'm gonna take this one out and I'm gonna use the foil one because I do have that one for now until I buy more. So we'll do that. Or another option would be you can break these in half. I've never done it, but I just thought about it right now. <laughs> You can break these in half and use one on, you know, make two of one from one. If that makes sense. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't know if that would work, but that's an idea <laughs> to try. Once I have more of these, I will try. So we have that. I have a usable ink. Extra produce is going to be those ones. A black vinyl flock HTV, I do have it. Pattern HTV, I do have it. Solid color vinyl, I believe I do have. Black HTV, I do have. And puff HTV, so why am I missing some? Okay, well, let's just do these. So, like I said, these will fit just right in there. And this is a little long. I'm not gonna... I don't want to cut these only because... I'm just gonna try to. Let me see how I can do this. You know what? I'm just gonna cut them. It's okay. I'm gonna cut about there in case I need to use them for a name or something. Since these are scraps, I do have a full length one, so it's okay. And see, it fits perfectly in my little folder. So for this one's gonna be the foil. I believe that was yeah, HTV. There we go. So we can put this down right here, just like that. And there we go. So it'll look like that. And then I'll show you guys how it looks once we have everything in there. Okay, so that one's done. The next one then, let's do... I mean, actually, we should have put that one in the back. So let's do foil. Oh, this one was foil. This one was foil. HTV, sorry. The other one is... I mean, this is foil uh, vinyl. Let me take this. So there we go, now we have it. So this one's foil vinyl, and the next one's gonna be foil HTV. And on this one, I'm just gonna tuck it like that. Let's see how it fits. Let's see, since HTV does kind of fold easier. So it sticks out like that, so I'm gonna have to cut it. <laughs> I was hoping I could just kind of squeeze it in there, but it's not. I mean, you don't have to use these plastic things. You can always just put them in the files like this. But I like to have the plastic. I want to have the plastic because I feel it's just um, easier to just pull it out and put it on, bring it to my desk if I need to go through it and see which one I pick. If that makes sense. Let me move this off to the side. Alright, so for this one, it was, what did I leave it at? Oil HTV. So I'm going to use this one. And this one. So I'm just moving it off to the side so I can be able to see that. Like this. So 
it's pretty easy. So let me do these really quick and then I will be right back. my finished little organizer for my vinyl scraps I don't know if you guys can see that it looks so cute I really like how it turned out um, I don't know if you guys saw right there when I was fast forwarding it it was um, I did have to cut some down because I didn't want any sticking out like I said if I was putting these in the file cabinet or whenever I do put some of them in there I am going to just leave them out and let them hang out to the side I won't worry about it so much but since these are gonna be out in display uh, I want them to make sure that they're not sticking out, sticking out or anything. And plus, it's, there's not enough space for them to stick out right here. But they turned out pretty nice. These little things, they were giving me a hard time. But I realized that I was putting them in wrong. <laughs> After I flipped the little label over to the other side, it was fine. Not a problem. It was so easy to go in. But I love the way they turned out. You guys, this is so cute. And it's going to be super easy for me to just get my little scraps now versus just having them all scattered in that um, drawer. Like I said, if you guys don't remember <laughs> on my video, I did, um, you, you can see that drawer was just, uh, had all my scraps scattered everywhere. <laughs> so it was so hard to find anything. Now, I do have this one, that this one's really long and I do not want to cut. Again, if I'm putting it in the file cabinet, I'm gonna just stick it in there something like this. Um, I mean, I can do it there too, it's not a problem, because it won't stick out. But I'm probably going to do it in my little file cabinet, because this one would go in, where is it at? Solid Color HTV. So I would be able to put it like that. So, just uh, a little heads up on that. But I mean, if you're looking at it from the top, it looks good. I don't have any problem, I probably will stick this one in there for now until I until I'm able to do that. I wanted also to show you guys these little things there, wristband, little things. They're for your wrist. I don't know if you guys remember, you just kind of slap it on and it folds on there like that. So I bought these. I had seen someone a while back um, suggest something like this. So I did end up buying it because I thought that's a great idea. I will link it down in the description below and would work perfect for this so instead of using tape and sometimes I lose that residue I hate that like right there so we can take this off take this one off also put double tape on there because sometimes the tape doesn't stick too well and you can just put that on there and you can use it for all your little vinyls if you keep them rolled up that's something that's like a little good idea there and then I would do like um this one's gonna be HTV, so I would do, let's see, let me delete this. I'm gonna do just one little label for it. And I'm just gonna put HTV, because sometimes HTV and vinyl look the same. I don't know if it's for everybody. Sometimes I have a hard time of um, seeing which one's which. So I like to have all my little things labeled. So for this one, I would just cut it right there right there and then again this is washi tape so it has a little there it is just take that off and take this one off and I will put like just my little label something like that or I can also cut out um, something on the Cricut machine and put it on there also with um, vinyl but how cute I like that. That is cute. So I'll leave that like that and just to make sure I have this. So like I said, this is good for if you store your vinyl or you know your materials just on you know rolled. So I have them both ways. I have some that are stored um, up at the top again in my craft room too. You can see them. I have one up at the top and then I have a whole bunch in my drawers. So that's why I bought these because I have a lot of them with just tape and that tape comes off and it doesn't stick after a while and then sometimes it leaves that residue so this would be good the, my only problem with these is that it adds thickness to it 
So if you're like, if you have some size down to fit perfect in a drawer, it might not be wise to use these. But it's, you know, again, just something to kind of give you guys an idea of how to store your vinyl also. Um, what else? So I'll put these over here. So again, there's our little file thing that's done. And then we have our little cup holder, which I'm going to change out soon uh, with my pens for my desk. I thought this was so cute. This little set is really cute. I was going to order another one of these because that's just too cute. And it matches really cute with that. So there's that. And then um, I took this one off because I don't have any white HTV. What I did. Didn't I? Oh, I think I put it with solid. Oh no, white HTV. I don't know. I think I did put it with solid colors. It's okay. Anyways, so another option again would be something like this. And you can also use these. If you were to grab something, maybe you'd buy something a little bigger than this. That would be perfect. Or on file cabinets because those things can move wider. And you can just have these in there also. So that would work. And then for like the tiny little scraps, you can use a smaller little envelope like this. But I will link everything down in the description below for you guys. But I just wanted to hop on here real quick and give you guys some ideas of how to, you know, how to store your vinyl. I know everybody's um, different, but this is just kind of my way of doing it. I like to keep them in drawers also. There's just different ways how people do, you know, store them. All right. So here it goes once again. This is my little file um, thing for my vinyl scraps storage i guess my vinyl storage <laughs> so i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little video like i said i just wanted to give you guys idea because i know uh, a lot of people have asked me how do i do this or that so i'm trying to also make videos to help you guys as how to organize your you know all your little stuff again it, it may not work for everybody but for me this is so far what i've found and i like this is the first time me doing this so i i actually really like this and then also the the file cabinet that i bought but, you know, whatever works best for you guys. It doesn't necessarily have to be this. But just throwing some idea ideas out there for you guys. Okay, you guys. So that's it for this video. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're new here. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.